Hey everybody. I had some pretty exciting news for me come in the mail and I want to share it with you. This letter begins, Dear Master Gardener Student. Yeah, that's right. I applied for and have been accepted into the Mississippi State Master Gardener Program. So what does that really mean? It might not be something you're familiar with. Well, here in North America, in the United States and in Canada, there is a Master Gardeners program. And certain colleges, universities, and institutes offer this program as a sort of education and volunteer program. What that really means is I will be partaking in a 40-hour classroom instruction where I'll learn about several different topics, at the end of which I will have to take a test. If I successfully complete that test, I will be obligated to perform 40 hours of volunteer service in the community teaching about gardening and so forth. And combined with my classroom experience and volunteer work, those get you the title of being a master gardener. And you have to continue that volunteer work into the future every year if you want to continue your accreditation as a master gardener. It's a really great program and I am getting into it specifically because I'm interested in the scientific aspect of it. The science behind gardening is something that's not necessarily a strong point of mine. Yes, I've been certified as a permaculture instructor, but that really didn't get down into the details of the biology of different things. And while I understand that this is certainly not a biology degree, I think it's a really great way for me to get into it. So. Let's talk a little bit about what's actually going to be in the class. The topics consist of soils, the master gardener record keeping, botany, invasive plants, plant diseases, weed science, ornamentals, lawns, entomology, plant propagation, entomology part two, fruit and nuts, entomology part three, fruit and nuts part two, vegetables, and finally, the test. Now. I learned over the years to have a positive outlook on things. So I know that no matter what is taught in this course, I'm going to walk away with valuable information. But at the same time, I understand there are certain things in this course that aren't really in line with my personal belief system. While I don't know what's going to be taught in things like lawns, uh, I can't help but raise an eyebrow and say, well, Jared, have a positive outlook for it, but at the same time, I'm concerned that it's probably not going to line up with my personal beliefs on the function of lawns. I'm also not entirely sure that I'm going to have the same feelings as they do about invasive plants. But that said, I know that I'm going to walk away with some great information, and the master gardeners I know are wonderful people, and I look forward to being a part of that community. So. As I did with the Jeff Lawton permaculture course, expect to see some upcoming videos and a new playlist about the Master Gardener program, where I'll do a minute or two video each week and do a bit of an overview on what we discussed. And I think that's not just interesting for you, but also for anybody who might be interested in the Master Gardener's program, because truth be told, there's not all that much information out there on the internet about what to expect to learn if you do get involved in the Master Gardener's program. This is not a free course. It's not like paying for college tuition, but it's not free either. And I think people are interested in what they're actually putting their money down for. So if something about master gardening interests you, come back and take a look at those videos. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time.